all right hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl anaya <laughs> And I'm here to bring you a Christmas list video. Well, it's going to be like a mixture of like a baddie Christmas list, a luxury Christmas list, or just an unrealistic Christmas list all in one. Okay, so as you can tell, it's going to be a pretty interesting video. So you should like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. And if you're already subscribed, then welcome back. Let's get right into the video. It's going to be a very diverse haul. It's going to include sunglasses, clothes, purses, shoes, all of the above. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with the sunglasses. So the first pair of shades I'm asking Santa for is the Natalia Taylor New York sunglasses in the color cream. It goes for $105, but when I tell you these are so sexy, I love these glasses. I don't have, I have one pair of cream glasses from Sheen, but you know, you always need a little bougie pair. I think it's perfect if you really love like the square shape. I love the square shape. In my previous video, if you haven't watched, go watch it. I was wearing square. They weren't sunglasses, they were just glasses that I got off of Sheen. But I just love that, especially on my face. So if you are a square glass girly, I really, really, really suggest you put this on your Christmas list and ask Santa for these glasses because only the it girl have these glasses, period. All right, so on to the next pair. I am about to butcher the name because I don't know how to pronounce it. It's low, low Y, something of that nature. Lowe's Paula's Dive In Mask Sunglasses. It comes in three colors, but I chose to go with the black on the red. Again, very sexy. This is much so on the more expensive side. They go for about 380 I know, girl. But let me tell you, I like I said in the last section, I love me some square glasses. These glasses, like it's just, it's just something about a square glass that will do it for me every time. You know, what made me really, really fall in love with these glasses, I went on TikTok, of course, and I just looked at the glasses on people's face. I'm gonna put some of the reviews on the screen, but they only had good reviews. And I'm like, girl, black on red, square, yeah. I need to go ahead, go ahead and get these. So if you a bougie girly, you like square glasses, and they black, go ahead and copy your pair, boo. It look cute. All right, moving on to the next pair of shades. These are also on the more expensive side. They are Prada sunglasses, Prada symbol sunglasses, I should say, in the color black, and they go for about five twenty. Girl, this is definitely on the wish list. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho i was in rome this summer and the girl that i was on the trip with she got some prior glasses and when i actually seen them up close i was like yeah i'm definitely gonna have to count me a pair because when i tell you they are so like sleek like it just make you feel so clean cut and classy that's what it gives me and i'm a clean cut classy bitch period all right so on to the next piece which is a little bit on the cheaper side is lord they you know my good sis the era taylor she even in her bag lately but i decided to go with the flashy i love a good statement piece like something that you can pop on your head or on your face or walk around with and know that you look like you the shit period and that's how the most recent drop that's all it was giving statement pieces and I need a lot of statement pieces added to my collection. All right, you guys, so on to the next, which is another Lorve piece, which again is on the cheaper side, but this one is still right now. I think it usually goes for about $80, but right now it's $64. It's the Sunglasses Temptation. Now, granted, I already have a pink pair of sunglasses, but those glasses right there, it's like, bitch, I'll take your me and look good doing it, period. It gives me Nunu from ATL. Like, it's just, it gives, bad bitch but very classy very cute so i suggest any girly to add that on the christmas list and ask Hannah for it all right so moving on from the sunglass portion we're gonna get into some, some jewelry this portion is really small i didn't i really don't ask for a lot of jewelry i kind of collect that throughout the year because I, me personally being a regular person i'm not a rapper tropper i don't need no 10k thing around my neck so i just get regular regular coach 
jewelry or just things from where should I see that is cute but for these things oh yeah I think I might have to get into jewelry a little bit more deeper so the first thing on my list the mini icon Marc Jacobs bracelet in the color silver it also comes in gold but I didn't really like that one this is so cute it reminds me of a Pandora bracelet so which is even better you know I love me some Marc Jacobs the perfume purses I love everything Marc Jacobs so I can get me a bracelet that looks like it's from Pandora but it's from Marc Jacobs the best of the both worlds any girly girl go know Marc Jacobs is where it's at period all right moving on to the next on my list i put the coach pearl small hoop earrings now baby you know i love me a good earring especially some hoops especially when they're gold i really really wanted me some bangles this christmas but when i was scrolling and i saw these i was like hold on wait a minute coach you're doing your thing you know i love me some coach jewelry so i was like oh this is a must have this is um like you have to put this if you don't get anything else on this list get these earrings i love me some coach period ain't nobody gonna make me feel bad about that bitch i love me some coach I just feel like this piece is just it's just perfect because it's a mix that like it got a little hint of hood in it but it's just so classy at the same time it's the best of both worlds all right so this is the last jewelry piece that i got of course it's from my good sis coach it's the signature pave or pop slider bracelet oh it would go perfect with my necklace i when i seen this i was like oh i have to get this this would be the perfect set completed Mwah. so this was really a personal for me so scratch the other thing if you're gonna get anything get these two items i'll put the link for my necklace in the description box below baby like it's just so simple they're so simple but it really pops in an outfit money well spent and i think man you put that on your christmas wish list all right moving right along to the shoe section mark jacob platform slide and it usually goes for 195 so 200 dollars. these are again a very much of a statement piece you're that girl you're gonna be that girl in summer right now. It might be the wrong time to get this because it is getting cold, but you live once, YOLO. All right, you guys, moving on to my good friend, Toy Birch. I put the double T port slide on my Christmas wish and it usually runs for about $198. When I seen this, I said, yes, so simple, yet classy, yet very much of a statement piece, very much a noticeable now i don't know if it's very much versatile but for them two three outfits you're gonna look good you can wear these to go see beyonce period poo another item that i seen from tori birch that caught my eye the mindley miller jelly sandal for about 98 dollars now like i said very simple yet classy now these are on the more middle to expensive side for some sandals i will say but we didn't call this the unreasonable wish list for nothing. Am I right? All right, so getting into the sneakers, of course, I had to add in 2002 Phantom and the 2002 Rust Oxide. Phantom usually goes for 227 which is more on the more expensive side. Rust it usually go for 150. These are the blue ones that I got for Christmas last year. Let me show you guys the shoe. Detailed very much. It's just, it's cute. So Sansa, please make it happen for me. I feel like that's not too original. I feel like that, I feel like he can do it. All right, let's move on into the purse section. Now, granted, everything on my wish list is not going to be on this wish list because I will go on forever. Because you know, I love me a good little purse. Period. Poop. Anyway, so let's start off with the Crystal Mark Jacobs bag. Price is unknown. I'll put it on the screen. But baby, I don't know what it is, but I'll put a lot of silver and pedestal things on this haul. You know, it might be because of the Renaissance album. It would just instantly make you that girl. Who you know walking around with a bedazzle of Mark Jacobs bag? Who? Cause I haven't seen it. You gonna see me though. I, I ain't gonna see you. Y'all you, gonna see me though. 
All right, moving along to the Kingston crossbody, which usually goes for $195. You guys, I fell in love with these crossbodies that he has. He's, I, I just recently found out about him. Girl, I've been in heaven. Actually, one of my main Christmas lists um, this year that's not gonna be in the fall, cause baby, there's gonna be a different video after Christmas. Main things that I want for Christmas is a purse from him, and it's, you know, you know, his, some of his bags are on the pricier side, so, you know. His bags are very, very unique, and I just love them. I got the multicolor one. I will look good in it. I know I will. I know you will. So let's just all add it to our list. Moving on, back along to my good friend, Tori Birch. I got the Monogram Contrast Embrus Chain Wallet for $348. On the pricier side, I know, I know, I know. I thought it was a trend to be delusional this year. Can, we, can I be delusional in peace? Okay. Cool, calm, and classy bag. It will go great with the sandals that I got earlier on the list. So I was like, I might as well throw it in on this. You know, I have nothing better to do other than shop. All right, you guys, on to the perfume section. So I have two that's on my wish list that I have not tried or smelled yet. And then I have four that I'm gonna recommend to you guys to put on your list. Let's get right into it. So the first one, of course, Queen B herself. She just dropped a perfume. Don't know how to pronounce it. Hello. I don't even need to smell it. It don't even need to smell good. But I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it sooner or later and if Santa don't bring it to me it's gonna be props it's going for about 160 I am a kind of hesitant to get it without smelling it first because I did watch a few reviews and they did say that it wasn't a youthful smell I don't want to be smelling like no old one out here in the streets but for my good sis I might just have to go ahead and cop it. So on to the next, something that I have not tried is Prada Candy. People have said it smells really, really, really good. So I really want some. I don't have any Prada anything. So, you know, explain it. I haven't smelled it yet, but the review said that it does smell good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my way, cause this is what, you know, what I do. I go over to the Galleria and I go into these stores and I smell the perfume. So then I can order, just order it and get it at a later date. Period. Put your own game. All right, on to things that I recommend for you guys to put on your list. All right, so first up is the Marc Jacobs perfume, which smells so good, y'all. So I got the whole set. I got the lotion, the small one, the travel size one, and then the big one. Lotion smells really, really good. It actually smells just like the perfume. But it just get it's like... Like like flowers i don't know like it's really good you see my file it's really good on a scale from 1 to 10 15. now it is a really i don't want to say strong but it's a very like once you get to know the scent like you'll recognize it anywhere so i definitely recommend perfect by mark jacob if you haven't tried it already go get it all right so we have another thing from mark jacobs y'all know i love me some mark jacobs but it's daisy by mark jacobs um this one i love i put this on my christmas last year and luckily i got it it just smells like you're just a businesswoman you're a businesswoman in a black suit that's outlined by white. You work in a 63 story building and the CEO is your husband and you're banging him in office. Like that's what it, it that's what it's giving. If you do not have this on your Christmas list, put this on your Christmas All list. Right. This is so next up we have this Armani perfume called C or Psy, C, Psy, C, Psy, Fo, Fi, Fo, Fum. Now, disclaimer, this is not a youthful smelling perfume. I will tell you that I love wearing this to Horton functions. In my job interviews, I have this on. I don't give a fuck how many job interviews I've had. I always have this perfume on. I have this on because it just gives you that oomph. Like, it just makes you feel like I'm gonna go handle business. Yeah, it definitely smells like a green, but I like it. If you if you're into them older scents, but it's like a granny, 
but her that bob the, the wig is always on right it's never all the way off to the side it's on right it, you got the nice big church hat like it's you put together it's the put together granny this is some good smelling perfume guys so the last one i have is this east saint laurent perfume i can't remember the exact name it's gonna be on the screen but let me show y'all the bottom gone nowhere to be found that's how good this is when i tell you i use this oh i use this okay i've had it for a while though i don't even want to test spray it because i'm going to say my little little droplets i got left it's business for me flowers this is not on your list you're not doing something right baby if you all right you guys so that brings me to the end of the video let me know if you enjoyed this video comment down below to give me some feedback if you guys enjoyed the perfume portion and let me know if you guys want me to do a whole video dedicated to recommendation on perfume because i have a whole bunch of more perfume a wide variety from from bath and body works all type of designer perfumes just in everything in between so let me know if you guys would like more content like that but if you haven't already subscribe like share don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts will be in the beginning and the end of this video and in the description box I hope to see you guys very very soon but until then bye i don't know who motherfucking representing it here tonight hold on hold on